Hey, I'm Vinny and this is Makeify. Recently, I went on vacation with my wife, my parents, my three sisters and their families and we rented a house that had a pool and I thought it'd be cool to build a toy to play with in the pool. So I designed and built this rubber band powered paddle boat and I'm gonna show you how I did it. I made the paddle boat from a couple pieces of wood from my scrap box. The large piece was about five and a half by 12 inches and the small piece was about two and a half by four and a half inches. Both pieces were three quarters of an inch thick. I made a template on the computer and used spray adhesive to stick the template of the hull to the large piece of wood. Then I cut out the hull with my bandsaw. A scroll saw, jigsaw, or coping saw would also work. I wanted the bottom of the bow of the boat to be sloped, so I cut that slope freehand with the bandsaw. This worked okay, but was a little rough. Then I used a 3 8 inch Forstner bit to drill two holes at the stern of the boat that go about halfway through the wood. I resawed the small piece of wood into three even pieces, each of which ended up being about a quarter inch thick. Then I cut out the templates for the keel and paddle pieces and use spray adhesive again to stick them to the three small pieces of wood. I went back to the bandsaw and cut those pieces out. You can download the template I made for free. There's a link in the video description. There are also links to the tools and supplies I used. I removed the templates from the wood. One template was stuck on a little too well, but a heat gun loosened the adhesive enough to remove it. Then I sanded all the pieces, which I did outside and didn't film, but the slope section of the hull took quite a bit of sanding to get symmetrical. I got a piece of 3 8 inch dowel and cut two pieces with a coping saw that were each about one and a half inches long. Then I glued these posts into the holes at the stern of the boat. I also glued the two paddle pieces together to make the paddle. The boat doesn't need to be painted, but of course you can paint it. I decided on painting half of it, so I masked off the top of the hull, the bottom of the posts, and the top of the keel. I got some spray primer and primed the pieces. Then I got some plain white spray paint and painted all the pieces. I got some spray polyacrylic and sprayed four or five coats on all the pieces to help protect the wood. This isn't really necessary if you completely paint all the pieces. To assemble the boat, I slid the keel into place. I designed it so that the keel was removable, but it could have been glued into place or emitted altogether. I got a nice fat rubber band and slid it over the paddle, then stretched it over the two posts, to make the boat go, you just wind the paddle backwards, then let it go. I think the paddle boat looks really good. Uh, <laughs> honestly, I think it's one of the coolest looking rubber band powered paddle boats I've ever seen. It's not the fastest thing in the world. Uh, I think I need a better rubber band. It's actually faster without the keel, but I just, I like the way that keel looks. So I like to keep the keel on. 
I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to keep up to date with my newest videos or check out my other channel, Makeify2, and I'm also on Twitter. I'd like to thank my top Patreon supporter, Michael Thomas. Thank you, Michael, and I'd like to thank you for watching. Hey, I'm Vinny, and this is Makeify. Recently, I want a... Hey, I'm Vinny, and this is... <clears throat> Just like this. This little rubber band powered paddle boat. I'm gonna show you how I did it. That wasn't very good. This rubber band powered paddle boat. Oh, it's holding it too high. Thank you, Michael. And I'd like to thank all y'all. Oh, I can't, hmm. I wanna say all y'all, but people will make fun of me. Wow, that was pretty good.